All right, I'm gonna take you through a quick demo of the Voicemail Drops uh, WordPress plugin. So we can have total control by plugging in the WordPress and connecting our own Twilio account, which is gonna save us a ton of money. Um, if you don't know what Twilio is, it's T-W-I-L-I-O.com. And you go get an account here. And when you do, you can buy phone numbers. And then um, once you have a phone number in your account, you've added, uh, I think it's a minimum of 20 bucks. But um, you get that set up, it's real quick and easy. Then all you have to do is copy and paste a couple things. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new campaign. Um, and then uh, I already have the Twilio SIDN token, but you go into the Twilio account, grab the SID here, click on that to get your token. Copy and paste those here, click next. And now we can pick a phone number from our Twilio account. This is the from number. And then I'm gonna just drop in a couple numbers. Okay, and then I'm gonna paste in my audio file URL. Now, the way I recommend you do this is go to actually Twilio, go to their assets section. If you expand the menu with this little three dot thing and go down towards the bottom under runtime, you'll see this option for assets. Go there and then click on assets uh, classic and then what you can do is you can upload your audio files that you want to send via voicemail you upload them here and the reason you want to do that is because now it's in the Twilio environment and there will be no delay in the playing of the audio because often when you have a, a an audio file located off-site uh, say on your own website or whatever it can take a, a few seconds for that to load and start playing and it has kind of creates an unnatural delay so I recommend putting them here. Now you can put them wherever you want, but this is just a great place to put it. Just click the button to upload one, and then we have one there. Click on copy to clipboard. And then all we have to do is copy, paste that uh, MP3 uh, link there. Click save. And now our campaign is ready to go. Now, the last step though is we need to activate it. However, still nothing's gonna happen because if this is your first time using it, you need to do one of two things to trigger the actual processing of the voicemails. If uh, the easiest way actually to do this is just to turn on this button to pro so that the processing will happen just within your web browser. So as long as you have the web browser open, it will keep processing those, um, those voicemails because it has to trigger it on the server. Uh, you can be doing other things. You can be on another tab. It doesn't matter as long as this is turned on. It'll, pro it'll go through those voicemails and process. Now there's also an option where you can copy and paste this link here, this URL, into a website called cron-job.org. And what that does is it, it just, it will ping your server as often as you want. So once a minute, it can actually request this URL. And when it does, it triggers the running of those campaigns. Um, that way you don't have to be on your laptop. So if you have, you know, something, maybe thousands of voicemails being sent, uh, and maybe you don't want to you don't have a computer you can just leave running, you can just take your laptop with you and it'll continue to process those voicemails even if you're not uh, online. All right, but I'm just going to do it the easy way. I'm going to turn this on and then it's going to start the process of sending the voicemails. I'm going to, uh, when you go to this icon here, you can see uh, the, the, the status of your calls. So it's already started the two calls. You might see uh, several different options here. Uh, this one says in progress. Sometimes you might see the no answer. That, that means that the last update was for the, um, the call status where it, anyway, it's just one of those things where you might see the no answer. Now, after a few minutes, you'll start to see these um, start to populate with, you know, with the recording and the final the final status of complete or possibly no answer still. But uh, let's give it another go here and see. Okay, so there we have uh, both the voicemails have been left. We have a status of completed and you can actually play the audio and you can hear exactly everything from the one that picked up on the line to when the voicemail completed. So you can just verify that uh, they're being played played and played accurately, et cetera. So it's just for your records there. All right, well, that is it. It's uh, As you know, voicemail drops are a very powerful way to reach out to people, especially if they're current customers. So um, you can work with clients to uh, get their customer list and reach out and do special promotions and things like that, and then um, uh, increase their business and, and their, uh, their revenues. So anyway, that is the plugin. Thanks for watching and uh, look for another video where I actually show you how you can 
put make this available on the front end so if you actually want to resell uh, voicemail drop as a service on your website you can so look for that video as well thanks